Snowboard women on the face. There is so much at stake in this group. Manuela Mandel on course. Going to look his left Kuwa so far. I think that all the snowboard women have taken that option to this point, but Manu Mandel and Wakanahama, the only two to hit this top air. I think Manu taking it a little bit more slowly, but still really solid. She is not waiting for anything. She's heading to the right to the next feature and getting it. Yeah, wow. Manu. That was a big air. Yeah, that was uh, the same as Jonathan Penfield, I believe. Lacing it through that shoot there. Manu really sold right. Unfortunately, having a problem with her eye during the down days. She was running with an eye patch when at one point she thought the competition might be the next day and she had to get used to it because she was having a problem with the, the visionary contacts. But stomping all of these stomps so far. Very strong run. That's what the judges want to see. No hesitation and going for some decent airs. Yeah, quite fast too. Especially that top section coming off that first hit. She didn't slow down at all, didn't try to slow down. She just looked comfortable at speed. That's really important. Going for another air at the very bottom there. She does. Nice. Nice work, Manuela. Wow, that's really impressive. Super solid run. Well done, Manuela. Yeah. Here we have Manuela with 78 points, our new current leader. And dropping in right now, the American Shannon Yates. Highly decorated competitive veteran. Yeah, long time competitor, no stranger to the podium at all. Very fluid, high speed, so smooth and technical in her riding style. Very casual, regardless of the type of terrain that she is on. Yeah, she is uh, very comfortable in just about any environment. Put her on the tight, technical, steep stuff, you put her out in the big, wide open. Will she take it fall line or will she take it more to the looker's right hand side? That looks like she, what she's going to do. Taking a moment to find her entrance, definitely going to affect fluidly there. A nice little lined up double. Taking a moment there to set herself up for that little exit air. But uh, really not seeing any riding issues from Shannon Yates here. Off and riding our reigning world champion and current world number two, Estelle Ballet, out of Vercorin, the Valet, riding for Verbier, Switzerland. Correct. She is a local growing up on this mountain. She's off to a very good start. Great air into that chute. As I said, quite some traffic to sue that. First solid jump up top that Elodie didn't have. Now what's she going to do for us down the bottom? It's a wind lip spray there. It's a nice line there. And she will exit probably over the cliffs there. Well, she's going to yes. have to. But she's, oh, she was a little bit off axis there, but she put her stuff together up and made one. a double out of it. Great stuff. She's not finished yet. Stay on your feet, young lady, Great. and she does. Estelle Ballet putting in a very solid run. Three, two, on course now, the defending world tour champ out of France, pushing out of the gate and making way down to the top of the ozone. Start number one from the very highest point. 
324 meters above the finish gate. Like you're saying, defending champ, first last year, first two years before that, first out of the gate today, and first air taking him into the power, looking smooth. Marion always looking small. Oh my good, look at that. This is more of like a play time right now for these riders. The POW is absolutely magical. And Marion looking like she's having a great time coming into her second air. How deep was that landing? Yeah, dude, damn. First face shots, first air, first barrel. She is just loving this, creaming it down the soft, smooth POW and the beautiful sunlight. What a way to start the day. Marion Arachi coming into her first significant air and dead stomp, pure clean riding here from Marion Harty. Another one there, and she is into the shade, making short work of the ozone face. Neil, she just set the bar there for the rest of the snowboard women's category. <laughs> Last woman to drop in the snowboard women's category. It'll be interesting to see where she takes this line now, whether she's going to go and look for something unridden or whether she's going to uh, tuck into that same line, at least the same start. Oh, she's going all the way. Where is she going? Very similar to Drew Tapke. Yep. In, as I said, the most Alaskan terrain or typical Alaskan terrain that you can get in the face. Cranked a big slough off the top there, released some snow. As you said, she loves to ski or ride untracked powder. And that's what she's up to. A lot of slough management required in this section there. And it's moving quickly, so she's got a lot of work to do just managing snow. that. It's perfect conditions. Here we go. And she's going big! That was really big. Biggest air we've seen from the women. And, and she's she puts it together. The speed. That is a winning line so far. She has to put it together all the way down, though. Well, it's been a literally a bare-knuckle fist fight between Anflor Marxer and Estelle Ballet this season. And that this run is a knockout blow right now. Well controlled. Well deserved. Super technical with some big airs. That is an undisputed winning run for me from Anthony Marta. Yeah.